All right, guys. Uh, today, I am going to show you how to get very, very cheap flights. Um, at least how I get them. And I don't use, you know, credit cards or frequent flyer miles, anything like that, because I don't have a credit card. I got rid of those years ago. If I don't have the money to pay for something, um, I don't buy it. So, being that frequent flyer miles is not an option for me. Um, I have to really do not a whole lot of research. I use two sites, basically. I use uh, Google Flights and I use Skyscanner. And I know some people like Momondo as well, but I've, from what I've seen, uh, Skyscanner and Momondo, pretty similar. Um, there's really not a whole lot of difference in the flights they, they have. And I just like um, Skyscanner's interface better. So it's really what it comes down to. But I use those two sites exclusively. Um, and the way you get a cheap flight or the cheapest flight you can is by being flexible. Okay. So there's a couple areas that being flexible in will really give you a very, very inexpensive flight. Now, the more you can be flexible, the lower your price is going to be for the ticket. So the first area is when you travel. And that means like time of the season, time of the year, and the day that you travel on. Now, obviously, if you travel during the summer, it's going to be a little more expensive than if you travel, say, in the winter or you know, off-season. Also, the day that you travel is also going to determine you know, how low your ticket price is going to be. Normally, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday are the lowest fares. But sometimes you'll see you know, an odd uh, Friday flight that's real cheap or a Sunday flight that's real cheap. And uh, Google Flights has a great calendar feature, and I'll show you that later on. But uh, it will show you, you know, the lowest prices every day for the whole month, or two months actually at a time. So you can kind of search that way. So if you're flexible on when you go, you're going to get a good deal. Second area is being flexible about which airport you fly into. I, I like to use um, London as an example, so there's a lot of air, uh, airports there. Heathrow is the biggest one. It's also the most expensive. I love flying into Heathrow. It's a really great airport. But flying into, say, Gatwick will usually save you a couple hundred dollars. So, and I know some cities, you know, aren't big enough to have more than one airport. But if you are going into, you know, a big metropolis like London or Paris or, you know, someplace like that, there's going to be multiple airports to fly into. And you could literally save hundreds of dollars by choosing you know, a smaller airport, a lesser known airport, and, you know, that's going to make a big deal, you know, 100, 200 bucks. Third, the third area to be flexible in is your destination. Now, if you're always, if you're just traveling around, like, you know, for pleasure, being flexible about where you go, just kind of randomly traveling around, just based on the lowest price, will get you incredibly cheap flights, especially in Europe and Asia, not so much in America. Uh, we really don't have a lot of the, you know, deep discount airlines like they have in, in Europe, like, you know, Ryanair or EasyJet. But if you're over in Europe or Asia, you can get, you know, tickets for 10 bucks, 15 bucks. I've seen, I've seen, you know, tickets from London to, uh, you know, Paris for like 20 bucks. So, and Skyscanner has a great feature. I'll show you that as well. Um where it'll list every flight going from a particular city. So you can kind of pick and choose and see which one you want to go to. If you've never been to, say, you know, Italy or, you know, um, Austria, there may be some really cheap flights going to there. You know, you discover a new country for 20 bucks, 30 bucks. So those three areas, right, when you travel, what airport you fly into, and your destination will go a long way to determine how much you're paying for a flight. And again, the more flex, if you can be flexible on all three of those, you're going to get an incredibly cheap flight. So I'm going to give you uh, a real life example here. I'm going to go into my desktop. I'm going to show you uh, Google Flights and I'm going to show you Skyscanner and um, we'll see what kind of flights we can find. All right, guys. So we're here on the uh, Google Flights page and I want to show you how using their calendar. Uh, can save you some money on the flights. This is ba basically being flexible about the day and date, and I'll also show you how you can save a lot of money by choosing a different airport to fly into. So let's go from 
Los Angeles, LAX. And I like to use London as a as an example. It's a big city. It's got a lot of different airports and it's got a lot of flights going to and from it. So right away you'll see uh, Google is telling you, hey, you'll save $119 if you leave on the 27th instead of the 29th, right? But let's take a look because if we're really flexible, we might be able to find something fairly cheap, maybe even less than that. Uh, it'll show you here all the prices for each day, the lowest price for each day. And ah, here we go. So the lowest price is always going to be in green. So you see, if I can wait till April 25th, I can get a flight for $240. So that's pretty damn good compared to 418. So that's what almost $200. No, what is that? Yeah, hundred and. Fifty dollars somewhere around there, hundred sixty bucks. I'm not good at math on the fly, but uh, yeah. So being flexible, day and date, you can save a lot of money. Now, let's show how being flexible on the airport you fly into can save you money. So the main airport in London is Heathrow, right? And let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, lowest flight is five ninety one. Oh, that's Aeroflot. You don't want to fly them. Uh, because this one you're going to go, you're going to fly into Moscow first and then uh, fly back to London. So it's a 21-hour flight. Uh, you don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. 597 So for six more dollars, you can get on Turkish. That's, no, that's stopped in Istanbul too. Jeez. Uh, still cheap flight. So, so let's say 597 Okay. If you go into to Heathrow. Now, come back up here. And we fly into Gatwick. So from 597, we've gone to 418. So what is that? A hundred dollars almost somewhere around there. You know, so just flying into a different airport saves you money right there. Now I want to go over to Skyscanner and show you how being flexible on your location, right? Where, you're, where your destination, where you're going can really find you some incredibly, insanely cheap flights. So I'm going to use London because, again, this really works for Europe and Asia the best. So you go to put in going from London to your destination. Just click, just click in the box, and this thing will come up and say, are you flexible? Search everywhere. So click on that, and that will essentially give you every flight leaving from London on that day. Um, don't know where we're going to go, but uh, I've seen flights from London to like Copenhagen for $16. Um, you know, usually they're around maybe 20, 30 bucks, but they're really, really cheap. So uh, we'll see what this brings up. And hmm, why does this take so long? Normally it's right away. All right, guys, I had to start this uh, recording over again. I don't know what happened um, with this site, but you see the results here now. So we're going from London anywhere. I changed the date. Maybe that was a problem. I don't know. I went a little further out. But look at this. Flying to France for $6, a $6 flight. So let's see where it's actually going to. It might not be somewhere. All right, so we got Strasbourg for $6. Um, I do not know how to pronounce that, but that's seven dollars. Ooh, Marseille for seven dollars. That would be an awesome trip right there. So, you know, you have that. Uh, let's see what else we're gonna go. Bordeaux for eighteen dollars, but you might not want to go to France. Let's see what else we have there. But well, that's an incredible seven bucks. Uh, Germany from eleven. Uh, Norway, Switzerland. Italy for 18. Let's see where we can go in Italy for $18. And again, these might not be cities that you're, oh, Milan, oh, that's $21. Still not bad. Brindisi for 27. You can head over to Greece from there. I've done that before. But yeah, so if you are flexible on where you want to go, the Skyscanner is great for that. You can find incredibly cheap flights, especially in Europe. 
and especially in Asia. But uh, yeah, look at that. Six dollars to go to Marseille. That's amazing. Or seven dollars. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of how being flexible works in the real world, finding those great deals. All right, guys, so there you have it. I mean, $7 from from London to Marseille is incredible. Um, yeah, if, you, if you're if you flexible about where you're going, that's going to give you the cheapest flight overall, no matter what. But, uh, yeah, those three things, you know, you saw it on the desktop. You saw it when I went through. That was live. Uh, you can find some pretty cheap flights if, you know, you put in a little bit of work. And that was, what, maybe five minutes? 10 minutes, not only in 10 minutes, like five minutes uh, to find that. So, yeah, just do those three things. Be flexible in those three areas. And uh, you're going to find a really, really inexpensive flight. So, that's all I have for today. Remember, subscribe to the channel, like and share this video, and um, be back with more stuff tomorrow.